Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to October of 2022. I hope this message is finding you well. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. If you'd like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer in my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I'll be more than happy to get you all set up with that. Um, also, Aquarius, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. It's also fairly timeless. doesn't necessarily have to resonate for the month of October 2022. Um, it can resonate for you at any moment, so whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you at that time. All right, Aquarius. Last shuffle. Dominant color that I'm seeing for you right now is pink, and what this has to do with self-love. Um, uh, there's a feeling here, Aquarius, of kind of pulling back, pulling your energies away from certain people. There's been a dominant energy that I've been picking up for you guys for a, a few weeks now um, in terms of, you know, wanting to help people, wanting to be there for people, wanting to be of service to people, um, help people survive and thrive and strive. But I feel like at this point, if that, it, it, this could be, re uh, um, um, this could resonate with that that message that I've been channeling for you for a while. It could be something different, but the dominant thing that I'm feeling here is at this point, oh God, the cats. At this point, you're desiring to pull your energy back. Hold on. The cats can't make up their mind whether they want to stay inside or outside this morning. It's, ugh. Okay, anyway, back to you, Aquarius. Um, so there is a level of... I want to say regretfully or remorsefully, I, I am feeling like I need to pull my energy away is what I'm hearing here. And it's coming from this pink energy of self-love and also of service to self, being of service to self. And, and I feel like, and, and I don't feel like that's a negative thing here. I just feel like you are finally realizing or are starting to come to the awareness of maybe I can't really help these people in the way that Mm, in the way that I'm used to is what I just heard or maybe in the way that they are used to I just feel like there's an energy of you know honoring your self-worth and pulling yourself away from a situation or circumstance in which your efforts are not really fruitful or not being fruitful and there is an energy here of you know you realizing that the people that you have been trying to serve or help are not really willing to take the advice or not really willing to do what's necessary um, there is a there is a realization here of recognizing that you can only do so much for someone and in some cases I'm hearing your efforts are going in vain but or if you are starting to realize that your efforts are going in vain there is a level of self-love that's coming through that's saying then I just I should just pull away then okay What's going on for Aquarius? Four of Swords, Page of Cups. The world is reversed. Ooh. I'm hearing one more card. Aha. It's the Ace of Swords. Okay, overall energy is the Hermit here. Okay. Um, and what you have that's come out is the Four of Swords, the Page of Cups, the World in Reverse, and then the Ace of Swords. All right, so the Four of Cups, I'm sorry, not the Four of Cups, the Page of Cups here is representing some sort of compassionate energy, um, some sort of help, some sort of service that you are wanting to be of to somebody or something that you have been giving to someone. I, at Four of Swords, Page of Cups, this is feeling like um, you taking a step back from wanting to provide, wanting to be of service, giving some sort of compassionate energy, maybe some sort of love, loving energy, some sort of emotional support, um, being emotionally available to someone, being emotionally understanding with someone and all that. It feels like Four of Swords, Page of Cups is like you're starting to recognize, you're starting to like, hold on, wait, stop for a second and really think about it, really feel through it. 
um, the Page of Cups feels like that compassionate energy. And I feel like you're taking a step back and are really thinking about, well, I do have this desire to be of service or I do have this desire to be compassionate, to extend some sort of compassionate energy to someone. But then we reach the world in reverse in which you are recognizing that this situation is not coming to completion. You're not reaching your end goal. Um, there, there, there's a feeling here of the situation not being able to be completed. But it feels like that's because of someone else's involvement in it. And then here you have the Ace of Swords, the Sword of Truth, recon realizing, understanding, recognizing what the real truth of the situation is. Okay. And then overall energy is the Hermit. And I don't remember who who I channeled this for this month, but there was, a, I, th I think, one other sign that got the hermit, and it got the hermit as well, and it represented a similar thing. Recognizing and or understanding that you can only do so much. You know, you can only really lead the way. You can only really illuminate the path for someone. Whether they choose to take it or not, th that's, that's on them. That's their choice. Your understanding here is I can only illuminate the way forward for someone, but I cannot force them to walk that path or to take that action. And this does feel like a, a pretty somber thing because you're recognizing, realizing Ace of Swords that what the truth of the matter is. And for some of you, may, you may even be dealing with energies of feeling like you failed, but you haven't. You haven't. You've, you've done what you can. And that's all really you can do, you know? Okay, let's start clarifying. And I, I wanna start with the Ace of Swords here. Well, actually, no, no. Let's start with the world. I wanna start with the world in reverse. So clarify the world in reverse for Aquarius, please. The Emperor. Clarify the world in reverse, please. The King of Cups, wow. Yep. The Four of Wands. Okay. And then the overall energy is the Five of Wands. I feel like you have been maybe kind of arguing with this person or these people. There is a differing of opinion here, but the world in reverse is clarified by overall energy of the Five of Wands, but also the Emperor, the King of Cups, and the Four of Wands. So the Emperor represents um, control, um, being, uh, uh, I want to say being the master of your own domain. Um, the emperor represents de uh, definition, represents boundaries, um, protection. Um, I'm also hearing honor and sacrifice, but there is also a, a provider type of energy here. I, this is also a leader energy. You know, this is an individual or an energy of someone who is a leader, who can show someone else the way. And I feel like that's how you have been showing up in life up until this point, okay? Or uh, you've been showing up in this situation. I feel like you're really, uh, with this emperor energy, I definitely feel like you're setting boundaries for yourself because there's, a, like I said, there's a realization that the situation is not reaching com completion or is not able to reach completion, okay? So while the emperor energy does feel like you having tried to be some sort of provider leading the way for someone there's also an energy of, of the emperor here of protection protection and honor and that protection is of yourself while you may so so you may be setting boundaries for yourself saying i can't really go any further here i can again there's a feeling of i can only do so much King of Cups is um, emotionally available, emotionally aware, an emotionally compassionate person, and uh, and then you have the Four of Wands. The King of Cups is also the type of in, the type of energy or the person or the mindset that someone would be in to say, I know that this is not necessarily easy to do. It may be fairly difficult to do, but it's also the right thing for me to do. And there there is an energy here of with the Four of Wands combined with this of provi of, of preserving your sense of well-being okay because this four of wands does feel like this is a solid energy within you you are solid stable grounded you have a stable foundation creatively creatively um spiritually energetically it does feel like you are a source of of some sort of energy in a way um 
but it feels like you're closing off and you're closing off because you have to. You're closing off in order to protect yourself. The emperor energy is like protecting the sovereignty, the foundation that you have here within yourself or just within your life circumstances. And the emperor feels like closing the gates or putting up walls, putting up boundaries in order to preserve that, in order to preserve that empire or that foundation, that source of creativity or that source of energy. Okay, it really, it may seem like you just have no choice, but if you, but you do have a choice, but if you're going to honor and protect yourself, then you are going to have to make the appropriate, set the appropriate boundaries, set the appropriate walls, take the certain appropriate action. Five of Wands here. As the overall energy does feel like conflict does feel like you might be um, arguing with or fighting with someone else that is involved here. But what I'm getting from the Five of Wands, Aquarius, is that, you know, y'all keep going back and forth and no resolution is found. 11-11 on the counter. So, and then that's where the Emperor energy steps in. Because it's like, okay, well, if we can't find common ground, if we can't work this out with each other, if we can't find a resolution, then I'm just going to have to move forward. Because I'm not going to keep spinning my wheels here for no reason. I, again, there's a f strong feeling here, Aquarius, of all I can really do is show you the way. All I can really do is set the path and work to keep us on that path. But if you don't want to do that, if you don't want to stay on the path, if you don't want to accept that, then I can't really help you here. Okay, Ace of Swords. Now, let's clarify this, but also what I'm getting for the Ace of Swords right now is that this is a level of communication, speaking the truth about something, and also severing some sort of ties, potentially. Clarify the Ace of Swords, please, for Aquarius. Temperance. Okay, interesting, because one card flipped over, but it didn't exactly come out, um, and I heard not to take it, but I looked at it, and it's the Two of Pentacles. So, or it was the Two of Pentacles. And now, the first card that's come out to officially clarify the Ace of Swords is Temperance. They're fairly similar energies, okay? As you can see here, Temperance is depicted as an angel, um, uh, mixing together the liquids from two cups, okay? This is about alchemy, this is about balance, this is about harmony and harmonization, finding balance, finding alchemy, alchemizing something, um, or finding harmony and or balance. And then the two of pentacles that kind of showed itself before but didn't actually come out is a similar energy because the two of pentacles is depicted as a, an individual going back and forth or trying to balance physical, physical situations. So I feel like there is an energy here of having gone or be uh, of going back and forth. Um, but ultimately the, 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 the goal here is to find, find that balance. And with the Ace of Swords here, I do feel like you now understand, you know how you can balance out your life, your situation in general not necessarily find balance in this circumstance because this circumstance feels like something's not working. It feels like somebody doesn't want to accept the guidance that is being provided to them or accept the offer of help. The path ahead doesn't want to accept that. And that's ultimately creating turmoil in your life. And in order for you to be peaceful, you're going to have to sever some sort of tie. In order for you to find this balance, there is a truthful, there, there's truth or there is an awareness or an understanding of how to achieve a greater level of balance. And this just feels in your life in general. It does not feel like it's in this situation that you've been working with. Clarify the Ace of Swords, please. The Ten of Cups. The Queen of Wands. And the Seven of Cups. Okay, ooh, and then overall energy is the Devil. Um, this feels like it's all in, in service of ultimate happiness, your ultimate happiness. 
I wonder if you're also starting to recognize and or wonder if the people or person that you have been involved with in this situation that you've been trying to help, I wonder if you're starting to realize if they actually might be happier just staying where they are. Some of you may be questioning whether you have st stuck your nose where it doesn't belong or put, are, if you are putting your energies towards the wrong situation or are, in the, are misplaced. Some of you may also be questioning your own ability here, your own alignment here. Or maybe it's that you have been questioning your own alignment in this situation. You do have this Queen of Wands here. This Queen of Wands is talking, this Queen of Wands feels like it's talking about your alignment in terms of wanting to be helpful, wanting to be of service to people. And there feels like with the Seven of Cups here also, it feels like there is a level of questioning whether you're even doing the right thing or whether you're in the right alignment. But then with the Ace of Swords here, I do feel like you kind of like snapped out of it. You're like, whoa, wait a second. No, 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 this is, this is the proper alignment for me. It's just that my energies may be misplaced in terms of the situation that I am involved with, the circumstances that I am involved with. Um, you may be so and then there's also a feeling here Aquarius of the individual or individuals that you have been trying to help um, you're you may be realizing that they are actually not really wanting to come out of the circumstance that they're in they are probably quite happy being in a codependent state and it was never your intention to be in this situation to help enable that for them. It was your intention to be a part of this situation to help them achieve, to help them grow, to help them come out of a level of codependency. But there may be a lack of effort and or follow through from them. And at this point, you're starting to recognize and realize, be like, whoa, hold on, wait a second. Do you really want to come out of this low vibrational or toxic situation? Or would you rather, are you actually rather stay here? You may not necessarily be asking that, them that directly, but that may be the truth that you're starting to understand. The Ace of Swords, that's the awareness that you're coming to understand. Okay, so with that said then, let's clarify this Four of Swords. Clarify the Four of Swords for Aquarius, please. The Three of Pentacles self-mastery, teamwork, death, the knight of wands, and the page of wands. Yep, okay. So I don't feel like, um, and then the overall energy is the, the knight of swords. I don't feel like you are changing yourself. Even though I do feel like there is a level of questioning whether or not your energies and or maybe resources are misplaced here, I don't feel like you're changing your alignment. I don't feel like this is really getting you to believe that you know your alignment has been improper. And I agree with that, okay? But your, and some of you may actually be learning a pre, a, a, an early lesson in terms of you know being of service to people in some way, of learning that, you know, like I said earlier, you can only do so much. You can't really fix the situation for someone else. You can help them. You can help them work through the situation and you know try and lead them, try and guide them, maybe prop them up a little bit if they need the extra hand, but you can't really do it for them. But, and so there is, a, there is a level of mental clarity. We're clarifying the four of swords here. There's a level of mental clarity coming through in terms of teamwork. Three of pentacles. Okay, three of pentacles does represent self-mastery but it also represents teamwork you know you have these three individuals with their own skills and expertise coming together to create something okay so teamwork but what i'm getting here is that if this if this isn't a real this isn't necessarily a team situation okay all parties are not doing their appropriate part and so there is a transformation there's death happening here this, this you're transforming out of this situation oh shoot I didn't see this. Okay, there is an extra card here. Um, so you have Three of Pentacles, Death, the Knight of Wands, and then I thought right after the Knight of Wands came the Page of Wands, but there's actually the Knight of Wands, then the Six of Swords, and the Page of Wands. So the Knight of Wands represents your inspiration to drive forward, to move ahead, to 
to walk your path, share your wisdom, share your knowledge, be a, uh, a light, a, a, for, a source of illumination to help people find their path or help this person find their path or help the people find their way forward. Okay, you are this torch bearer. But it doesn't feel like you're leaving this energy behind, page, Knight of Wands. It feels like you're taking this Knight of Wands energy and moving forward with it, Six of Swords, and are changing your alignment, Page of Wands. Maybe looking to start a new project elsewhere or communicating to the individuals or individual that you have been dealing with here saying, this isn't gonna work out, I have to move forward. The Page of Wands can be um, a new creative project, um, can be a new self-alignment, can be discovering your power, but also the Page of Wands can be a message or a messenger. And I feel like at this point, the mental clarity that you are achieving at this moment is helping you realize that your efforts are better placed elsewhere. And I do feel like you're going to be communicating that. Okay. Page of Cups then. Clarify this Page of Cups for Aquarius, please. What's the Page of Cups? Page of Pentacles. Yep. Okay. And then the Eight of Swords. That's interesting. Um, I did Pisces' reading before I did yours. Um, and I don't know why. Just... I, I, when I was getting ready to do the readings today, Pisces was in my head first, so that's where I went. Um, and Pisces got this Eight of Swords as well, and it feels similar to what, or the same to what your, your energy is. Um, it feels like you don't really have a choice, but you do, you always have a choice. You can either stay in the situation or you can move forward from it somehow. But the Eight of Swords represents, often it represents mental imprisonment, but I'm just getting confinement. Your, limited, your options are limited, okay? There's nothing really for you to do other than just move forward and or start over. Underneath the Eight of Swords is the Tower, okay? So we're clarifying the Page of Cups here. And the Page of Cups definitely feels like your desire to be of service, the compassionate energy that you have, that you hold, that you wish to extend to people. Page of Pentacles is a brand new start a new reality. I do see you exiting this current situation or circumstance or relationship that you've been in to start anew, to start, mm, you could say start over, but just start a new process forward, a new project, okay? I feel like you are holding this compassionate energy, Aquarius, and are deciding to move forward in a new way. I just heard start the process over again. But I wonder, Aquarius, if this is you for, or somebody here being like, I want to say serial monogamist. So for some of you, for some of you this is a romantic situation. Um, but I wonder if this is an element of you recognizing that you just, you jump from one project to the next, or you jump from one person in a level of destitution to the next in order to help. There is a little bit of a negative twinge here, but I keep, I, what I'm hearing is serial monogamy. So like you jump from one relationship to the next for somebody here. There may be an energy of being afraid to be alone Okay, that doesn't really feel like a dominant thing, but it was there, I am picking up on it, so I'm just putting it out there. So in terms of that then, it feels like you are learning how to balance that out. You are learning how to not necessarily be a serial monogamist if, in that case, or not, not always look for someone to help or someone to save. I feel like you're learning some of you, yeah, there is, there, there is definitely an energy here of learning to place, to hold the appropriate boundaries in terms of that, because um, that would be a situation in which you could be susceptible to being taken advantage of quite often, okay? 
having a greater, deeper understanding of that. This definitely could have been a situation in which somebody here was really just taking advantage of your kindness, of your desire to help, of your desire to be of service without not ever really intending to work themselves up to a point where they can do stand on their own or do better for themselves. They would rather be some sort of leech or energetic vampire and just siphon what they can off of you or quite frankly anyone else who um, shows up to be of service to them. You know, I definitely feel like Aquarius, this is a, for somebody here, this is a, a lesson in how to hold the appropriate boundaries in terms of an energy like that. The, the, the strongest feeling, the dominant feeling I'm getting for you overall in this energy or this, this reading here is I can be a torchbearer for you. I could be a, a, a way shower for you, but I can only do so much. I can't literally make you take the steps. You know, I can't move your feet for you. You've got to do that. But I can help you by shining a light, by showing you a way, not the way, but a way. Yeah. All right, closing message for you, Aquarius. The lovers. The Knight of Cups, the Nine of Swords. It is reversed. This situation with this person has been causing you a great deal of stress. Overall, yeah, overall energy is the Eight of Wands. This situation has been causing you a great deal of stress, but the closing message here, ultimately the understanding that you're coming to is making a choice, the lovers, of what serves your highest good. Okay, this is definitely a situation in which you are learning or have learned or are coming from the solid understanding that um, if you're going to be of service to others in the, in the best, most efficient way, you also have to make sure that you are, you're good. You know, you're solid, you're being provided for, or you're getting what is necessary for you to be able to show up. Okay, so taking care of number one, whom is you? In order for you to preserve this level of compassion, understanding, and wanting to be of service, Knight of Cups, you are going to have to make a decision that allows you to be released from this stress, this turmoil, Nine of Swords. It's like, it, does, it definitely feels like, you know, you've been trying to help this person or these people or whatnot, whatever, and it's, it's going nowhere. And it's like, you're literally like, you're pulling your hair out. You are, you are, under a great deal of stress because of this situation. And again, Aquarius, it does not feel you're letting go of the energies of wanting to be helpful or wanting to be of service. But either you are coming to the understanding that this specific situation ain't going nowhere, or you're coming to an understanding of how to best be of service overall, how to be able to be there for other people and be of service to them while still being there for yourself. And you're learning that through what you've been going through in this situation in terms of someone not necessarily wanting to show up or do their part. And ultimately this choice, you know, to do what's best for you, to preserve yourself in a, in a best way and honor yourself in a, um, the most appropriate way in order for you to continue to be of this compassionate heart-based service, the choice you're making to release yourself from a situation that has been nothing but stressful for you over a, a long time. I do feel like this is not a situation where, you know, at the first sign of danger, you were like, oh, I'm out of here. No, it's been a while, okay? But the choice that you are making is opening the place up for you or is opening is, is removing blockages is, a, is allowing you to move forward and the lesson for some of you the lesson that you're learning here is making it easier for you to do this to be of service in this way is clearing away obstacles now these obstacles were definitely lessons to help teach you to the, the, the best way to go about this okay that's for sure that's for sure 
Okay, Aquarius, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Check the information in the description box below where I list the readings that I offer and my email address. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested and I'll be more than happy to get you all hooked up. Um, if you would like, oh, I'm sorry, um, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel so inclined and haven't done so already. But with that said, Aquarius, I hope you have a fantastic month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Mwah. Bye. <laughs>